Well, Swerve and Hangman wrestled a match. Good lord. So, I think, and I am very much not sure, but I think that the Lucha Underground Hell of War match between A.R. Fox and Killshot, which was Swerve under a mask, was slightly bloodier than this? I don't know, dude. It did have a chunk of a man's back It did have there. a chunk of back, but I, I'm pretty sure that but there this was a, is uh, the new most violent match in the history of Major League professional wrestling in this country. There was a point here, and it was before Swerve poured water over his head, Ugh. but he's bleeding. I say again, before the water, he's bleeding so badly, they get a close-up, and you can see blood cascading down his forehead like a desktop waterfall, it's getting to his eyes. As you can see blood pooling in his eyeballs and then down his face. Who gives a shit about that? How about the guy laid on his back and as the waterfall of blood poured from his head, yeah. he went under the faucet and drank it. That also happened because of... Yeah. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you see, he's what's a, happening. Here? He hates this man so much. He's going to cannibalize him. He's going to eat his blood. He's a. He's going to devour the man whole. Yes. Yes. He's a. Well, the other side of it, he's a sick fuck. Both of these are true. Here's the thing. All right. These matches are not my cup of tea. You don't okay? say. However, the story is that Swerve broke into Hangman's house and uh, cut a promo on his child in the crib. Sure. And uh, while it took him a while to get it going, Hangman did finally cut that promo where he promised to kill this man. Mm -hmm. He was going to kill him. The man would be buried in the earth, dead, and then every year Hangman was going to take his child to the grave so his child could piss on the grave of the man who was dead that he had killed because he's a hangman. So, uh, you know, you can't do an angle like that and a promo like that and then just, you know, exchange Locker. holds. So, uh, you know, they tried to kill each other. That's what happened in this match. And uh, if you're going to do that, well, you got to do this. And for what it was, you know, I ah, I don't want to encourage this sort of thing. But you know what? My star rating makes no difference. People are going to do crazy shit or they're not. I mean, this was a five-star match. This was an absolute, for what it was, it was a masterpiece. Like, if you're judging the greatest death matches of all time, the greatest grudge matches, the greatest, you know, bloody whatever, I mean, this is this is at the very top. So, I mean, they're both completely out of their minds, and I hope no one does this anymore, but they will, of course. <laughs> and they're going to do it whether this gets five stars or no stars. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they set a standard here. And uh, as I've said before, you know, the one thing that you, you can always say about AEW is when they advertise a stipulation, they deliver. That's what they did here. Go ahead, Craig. Uh, a couple of nice touches, if you will. Uh, Hangman took a drawing that his uh, kid had made, I guess. Yes, yes. And he stapled it to Swerve's cheek. Yes. There was a... Uh, and then tore it a, out. Yeah. That was the even more violent part. Well, you got to give their property back. That's true. Uh, the moonsault from the uh, top to the floor with a ladder wrapped in barbed wire. Um, so many absolutely disturbing things that uh, I'm not going to let my kid watch this. I, he's 17, and I am not going to let him watch this. All right. Maybe next year when he turns 18. Well, next year he ain't got control over that. No. Miscreant. Well, fair enough. Fair he'll, enough. Be in, he'll, he'll be in college then, he, so he, he can do what he wants. Not He is not yet an adult. You are his guardian. You are responsible. I, 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 I applaud you sincerely for making a uh, parenting decision. Uh, I'm an adult. I love this shit. Okay. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> okay. I thought every part of this. I, I am also a sick fuck, apparently. Uh, this, was, this was a war. Uh, I, I should have written this down. I saw the comment online. I was like, all I want from wrestling is guys who hate each other doing horribly violent things to each other. Done. <laughs> what has happened to this world? The, the, the 450 on the broken glass. God damn it. Glass. Can't you guys just oh. be happy with Otis and Bronson Reed? Uh, wrapping the guy. I, I, 
I forget exactly what they wrap a guy in barbed wire and do the SOS slam. That was in there. Uh, the, the brick. The DVD onto the brick. The DVD oh, onto no. the brick on the, on the center block. The craziest fucking thing was when he gave him the pile driver on the goddamn skinny ass barricade. Oh! All the announcers were like, how the fuck did he even do that? That's a great question. I don't know how. That's a great question. Did. And then and then uh, Hangman's a maniac, so he, he uh, gigged Gigs. like the top of his head. I think yeah. he split himself from ear to ear. I think he actually Gosh. put the blade here and cut all the way across the top like my uh, you know, head, you headphone Caesar's? thing here. And, he, and then the referee comes up and he's like trying to push his skull back together. You see that part? That was yeah. gross. And then uh, Hangman's on the top rope. Uh, Swerve smashes him in the back with the barbed wire chair. And some of this barbed wire, if you pay attention, was a shoot, some was a work. This was right. shoot barbed wire. And a strand of it goes flying off the chair and like wraps around Hangman's head and fish hooks his mouth. Mm -hmm. A horror show, as I mentioned. So, in the end, nobody won this match. No. Hangman lost because he was choked unconscious with a chain and finally collapsed and could not get to his feet at the count of 10. And apparently, uh, I, I didn't look this up, but uh, this is like the same thing Hangman had done to win one of these against Omega. So it's a uh, poetic justice of sorts. But uh, there you go. This feud's over, and Swerve wins. And uh, the, the, the PS to all this is that I can't confirm Swerve is alive because he was shown yeah. on social media went to the Rams game in L.A., and when they asked whose house, and the crowd did not respond to Swerve's house, he was pissed. Oh, man. Golden Jets versus the Young Bucks. In what would, like, ordinarily you would call this the death spot after the death match. These guys said, nope, we are going to have a very good tag team match. And mm -hmm. son of a bitch, they did. God damn, did they have to work hard, though. Oh, they had to. Put, this, this is not coming easy. These fans are like, what are you fuckers going to do? I saw a man drink another guy's blood. I saw a guy larry a guy with barbed wire around his fucking neck. I saw all sorts of crazy shit. What are you going to bring to the table? And they went, well, wrestling. We're going to bring wrestling to the table. We're going to grapple. We're going to exchange takedowns. And every once in a while, there will be a low blow. Yes. But you know what? And a million super kicks. Well, yes. What do you expect? Yeah. yeah. This match ended up great. Mm -hmm. This match ended up great. Because... These guys, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, they know how to work. And you know, the funny thing is, is uh, it's, it's actually not Hold funny, on. but, uh, you know, some people, you know, there's a guy in the board who actually said, I can't believe Brian puts over the Young Bucks, but he doesn't like when uh, they do too much gymnastics in NXT. <laughs> I was like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen anyone write on the board. You know how long I've been on the board? Do you know the stupid shit I've seen on the board? That had to be the stupidest shit I've ever seen anybody type on the board. Ever. Ever! These young bucks, it's like, from the second the bell rings, they're telling some sort of story. And, like, this whole match was, like, a story. They told a story from the opening bell to the closing bell. And then on top of that, it's like, how can you watch the young bucks and not see what a great tag team they are and then Kenny and Jericho were a great tag team and they had such a great tag team match that you had 13,000 people who were just dead fucking tired after that hangman swerve match they got them going nuts for the last few minutes and when it got to the big spot at the end where you've got like uh I think Jericho was draped on one rope and Nick Jackson's draped on the other rope and hangman stands in the middle and he just all of a sudden looks at the one guy, and he looks at the other guy. And there's not even, like, a real reason that he would turn on Chris Jericho. It doesn't even make any sense. No. But just him well, looking... Well, no, I disagree. Because uh, first, the Young Bucks had hit low blows, and then Jericho had replied in kind. I see. So Kenny Omega is the, 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 the noble one who's disappointed in everybody. I see. And so we have a... Uh, he... Well, yeah, so he looks at both guys... And then he points the gun at Chris Jericho, and you can hear the fans go, No! They can't believe it. And so he hits the ring on one side to go for that V-trigger on Jericho, but he keeps running and he hits the ropes next to Jericho. And before, like, just hitting the ropes, the fucking place went nuts because they knew what he was going to do. And he hits Nick Jackson with that V-trigger, and they went fucking nuts. And then at the end, it's just big near fall, big near fall, this is awesome chance. 
And finally, they go for the Indy Taker. Jericho had at Cobreaker at a midair. Four-way striking battle, and then Omega grabs Matt. One wing angel, he pins him. He beats him. And the Bucks are so fucking angry because they lost, but they also lost their tag team title shot yeah, to right. these guys. And so, you know, poor Kenny Omega didn't want to be in the middle of this, but he offers a handshake, and they're like, fuck you! And they leave the ring, and they're throwing shit around. They're all angry. They're throwing shit to the crowd, and they storm off. It's like, God damn, this match was great. Everything about this match was great. The work, the story, the angle at the end, it was great. If these are the way the heel bucks are going to wrestle, they should have turned heel months ago. They were heel. They were heel like two years ago, and they were awesome. They're way better as heels. Uh Uh-huh. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never You'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.